Hello, hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Omotaya Olukusayo from Viralkits.com. So, in this video, I want to show you how you can set up a mailing server SMTP to send unlimited emails in a day. So, I'm going to walk you through what and what you need to get in place before you can start sending, before you can build your own SMTP server. And the SMTP server you're going to be building will be the one that can send unlimited emails in a day. So, uh, let me show you from my server. Let me show you my server and you see how many mails I can send in a day. So, to show you, I'll go to overview. And uh, from this server you are, can, you are seeing on the screen, I can create thousands, multiple email server. You can see build, it, build a new server. So I already have one. You can see build a new server now. Let's see how many mails this server can send. I'll go to settings. Then uh, I'll go to send limits and see how many mails we can send out in a day. Now let me scroll down. You can see we can send unlimited emails. Unlimited. You can send unlimited emails. So how do you get your own SMTP server running just like this and send your own SM uh, your own unlimited emails? To do that, you need two things. Let me show you my notepad and list out what and what you need. So guys, this is my notepad. Two things. You need four things. You can see on your screen. You need a VPS machine. And you can get your VPS machine from Contable or Digital Ocean. So Digital Ocean is a VPS platform, the self VPS. So you can get your VPS from Digital Ocean or you get it from Contable. You also need a domain. You can get domain from Namecheap or GoDaddy. You need a Putty. Putty is a window application that can be downloaded for free. You can download it for free and you need WinSCP. Also, so how do you get your VPS machine? Let me open my browser. I'm going to use contable.com. So I'm going to buy VPS from contable. So go to contable.com. So here is contable.com. You can check their uh, their pricing list. So uh, I'm just going for this. Click on see all VPS models. Then you come down and select this. Once you select this, okay. Then you have this. You can see just leave everything like this. One month, if you want to pick more than one month, you can pick this. So I will pick one month. Leave the region at the European Union, Germany. Leave everything like this. Then make sure you are picking Ubuntu. Ubuntu 20.04 then leave everything like this then go down again it's advisable for you to get two v two IPs so in case uh, it's advisable for you to get two IP so just pick two IP and uh, scroll down so everything you'll be paying you'll be paying seventeen dollars for the first month and uh, for the next month you'll be paying 10.99 dollars so which means you're gonna be paying you're gonna buy vps at 10.99 dollars every month so click on next you can pay with your paper or you pay with your credit card so you can fill in the details there then you click on next to pay after you fill in all the details then you get charged either from your paper or from your um from your credit card depending on you so after you've ordered for this you're gonna have something like this let me take it to my mail and show you the payments okay so you get a mail like this uh that thank you very much for your order so your payment is received and the rest so after that you're gonna get your um your your order you see this is my order now let me open this so here you get your address your username and your password will be there so i don't want to disclose my password so i'm just going to log in using this link then you put in your email and the password that will be given to you so let's wait for it so while this is coming up let's go to name chip the second option which is you getting domain so you have to get a domain from Namecheap or GoDaddy. So I advise you can domain from Namecheap. So I will open a new tab. 
open a new tab then go to name chip uh, name chip dot com on namecheap.com you're going to search for the domain you want to use so i'm just going to pick up viral kids smtp.us that us is more cheaper so i'm going to pick dot us so this is just 3.88 dollars so i'm just going to click add to cart please when you are buying your domain don't buy host with the domain just buy the domain just buy the domain then you click on checkout so if you have any code you can apply the code here and if you don't you click on confirm order then you get charged from your paypal or from your credit card so i'm just going to um log into my I can't I'm not going to buy any domain right now because I've already have an account I'm using so I'm just going to log in my account right here I'm going to sign in my account so I'm going to my dashboard so this is my dashboard you can see I've already have a domain so now, after you've gotten your domain and your host ready, the next thing you have to do is to download Putty. So you go on Google, just put Putty. Let me go to Google. Okay, here's Google. Just put Putty. Then you download. You search. Go. So on Putty, you just click. This is Putty.org. So click on this. Then you click on download. So you going to download this. So I'm downloading this now. If yours is 32 bits, download 32 bits. But I'm using 60, 64 bit. So that's why I'm downloading this now. So you check from your computer to download the right one on your PC. So once it's done, you right then open this so let's install install this install so the installation is going on Right, it's done now. So let's click finish. And we're done installing our Putty application also. So what next to do is to open the Putty app. So I'm going to minimize this. Then uh, search for Putty. So this is Putty, or you can just search for Putty. Mm, sorry, Putty. Where is it? Okay, yeah, you can open this now. Okay, open. Then you need to log in with the host. The IP address that was given to you on Contable after you get your VPS, you log in with this, then you are good to go. You going to have something like this server after the old stuff. I'm going to have your server like this. So let's test sending message. Let's send message. Let's send message. So I'm just going to leave test like this. Then send to this. I need the button send. Send message. Good. Now let's see. We we'll refresh this and check our mail. So my mail is loading, and boom! Can you see this now? It went straight to inbox. So with this, you can create your own SMTP server. So just check the description below and reach me on my WhatsApp for more info. And if you want us to do it for you, we are going to do 